the agenda for tonight's webinar is should you sell online it's a question i'm asked all the time by photographers and tonight we'll address some of those concerns and questions about selling online we'll talk about the power of mobile and current buying trends online this is really important not only for your marketing and sales of your service online but also for selling your product online if you're selling pro with galleries online it's really important that it works on this device here we'll talk about then how referral marketing is the greatest form of marketing most successful form of marketing that you can ever get as a photographer or any other business let me give you an example of that so if a friend of yours recommends a certain restaurant you're much more likely to go and have dinner in that restaurant at some time in the future than if you don't get that referral. And the same is true of photographers. How much business do you get from referral marketing? So the important thing to think about now is how can you, in the online space, in the social media space, get some referrals from your clients? We've talked about extending your sales reach beyond your direct client. So this is really important for those of you who are wedding photographers in particular, because with wedding photography, we see many, many photographers getting a lot of orders from their galleries, not from the direct bride and groom, but from other people who are at the wedding. I'll show you real examples. So those of you who know 3XM and have been around 3XM for a, for a while, who've attended any of our events before, social media marketing events, you will know that the key thing for us is facts and figures. Yes, it's lovely to have all the aspirational marketing vision stuff up here, which is really important. However, business comes down to the pounds, shillings, and pence. So I'll give you real examples of the success photographers are having using our gallery solution. We'll then discuss how to get started with 3XM. So at the very end of the webinar, I'm going to do a full demo of the 3XM solution gallery. Those of you who are already using the gallery, you don't have to stay on for that. I won't get upset if you leave the webinar, don't worry. Um, and those who want to stay on and see the whole thing from start to finish and how, how it works, I'll go through that and there may be more questions at that stage. We will do a demo of the gallery in the middle of the webinar, which will be from your client's perspective. So that's what does your client see from the online gallery. Laying the foundation for the sale. So look around you, look at the building around you. If I look around the building that I'm in here, if the builder who built this didn't lay a proper foundation, what's going to happen? The building is going to collapse at some stage. And the same is true of selling and selling online is that it's really important for the photographer to lay the foundation for the sale. And I'll give you live examples of how photographers do that and how that increases the sales from your online galleries afterwards. Planting the seed for the sale, another important thing. And I'll give you live examples of that too. And it's not just about people. We have a lot of photographers having great success with our galleries who are doing events, who are doing special events. And there is a way now with Facebook to make sure that that gallery link gets in front of your clients. This is really, really important. It really, really is important that you spend time to work out exactly what your pricing strategy is whether you're sending online or you're not sending online. Either way, you should take time to study exactly what your strategy is and put yourself in your customer's shoes and look at your price list and your pricing from your client's perspective as if you're going into a photographer and see, does it make sense to you? And we'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. I can also show you, we launched a feature last September in our online gallery and it was designed to solve one of the biggest pain of photographers so those of you who are wedding photographers what happens in september october november you're getting near that deadline to have your albums to the labs in time to get those albums back in time for your clients who want them at christmas correct so what we developed was what photographers said to us was the biggest problem I have is getting my clients to sit down and pick the images that they want me to design the album with. So we developed a feature within our galleries which allows your clients in their own time with a glass of wine or a glass of water or a Coke or a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and together go through the gallery and select the images that they want for you in their album. And that way then, and especially if you're using Lightroom, this is a great feature, it allows you then go into your control panel as the photographer 
and export those file names into Lightroom for Lightroom to go and find them and put them in a folder for you. So no need to worry about proofing books or getting lists of JPEG numbers from your clients and it just speeds up your whole workflow. And it's also a much nicer interaction for your clients in picking those images. Gallery pricing plans. I'll explain to you then what our pricing plans are within 3XM. Then we'll have full question and answer session. And of course, at 3XM, we like to give out presents. That's probably the Irish in us. But at the very end of the seminar, I will share a voucher code with you. And that voucher code will give you 20% off any 3XM purchase, any product purchase, any of our USB or USB and print presentation products up to the end of April. So it's worth sticking in for that. And at the very end, as I said before, I'll go through the full control panel and how to actually process the shoot. Right, let's get started. This is a question I'm asked all the time by photographers. And the question they ask me is, should you sell online? And no one really knows the answer to this except you. However, what I can say to you is that from our experience in seeing photographers, if you're a wedding photographer, you should absolutely sell online. And what, when I say sell online, I'm talking about selling product online. If you are a portrait photographer, the selling online piece, there will be product sales online, but not as many as if you're a wedding photographer because the captive audience is much smaller. However, it is a referral marketing tool and a lot of your clients will want that functionality to share the images online. If the question is about selling your service as a photographer online, you should absolutely sell your service online. Some people call that marketing, some call it sales. In a small business like ours, and as most photography business, small business as well, I like to refer to as marketing. So it's the principle of using the social media platform to form relationships, to build leads, and then bring those leads into your sales funnel and close them out. So why should you be online, whether that's product sales or whether it's marketing your service online? And the reason is this is where your clients now live today. I have four children. They're aged 23, 20, 18, and 13. And I live in a place called Clain. They eat and sleep there, but they don't live there. They live here, they live online. And I'm sure you see that all the time. So it's really important that you be where your clients are. Because 20 years ago, if we were picking the ideal spot for a photographic studio, it would be on Main Street with plenty of traffic passing by. Am I right? I think I am. So now, I'm not saying that you don't need a studio on Main Street. If you have a studio on Main Street, it's great to have that. However, most of your clients are now online. And if you can combine a proper marketing strategy online, it can only help you with your business. So what's tonight not about? So tonight is not about social media marketing. I'm not going to go into that whole marketing piece and how to market your business online. However, if that is something that is of interest to you and you haven't yet attended any of our social media events, we have some coming up across the country. We've done a whole load from January all the way through to now, and we have more coming up a little later in the year. And these are the locations. So we're in Falkirk if you're in Scotland. We're in Dublin, Belfast, Cork in Ireland. We're in Exeter and Cardiff. And hopefully later in the year, we'll have some other events as well. If you want to know more about those, if you go to 3xmsolution.com forward slash live, it'll bring you a link through there where you can make that booking. We do charge 40 pounds or 40 euro to attend those events. We don't look to make money from these training. However, we do give you a full lunch and we also give you a continental breakfast on arrival. So what we charge basically covers the cost of hiring the room and providing all the food. So referral marketing, for those of you who are, we've already talked about it being the most powerful form of marketing that you can get. And those of you who are wedding photographers, I'm sure many of you have done this. You've left your business cards on the table in the hope that the clients will pick up one of those business cards, put it in their pocket or their handbag, bring it home. And when they need a photographer that they, have your details to contact you, am I right? So a lot of photographers tell me that they've tried this in the past and it hasn't worked 
And the reason for that is, especially in Ireland, um, when we go to weddings, we like to drink a lot of Guinness and that business card ends up in the top pocket of the suit. The suit goes to the dry cleaners in my case and the business card is lost forever. And even though I know the photographer was a very good photographer, I can't remember their name. So I've lost that contact. So this is where an online gallery comes into play for both wedding and social photographers and portrait photographers. And that is referral marketing via the social share. So we've made it really easy for your clients to share their gallery or share an image from their gallery on social media. And that reflects, that operates as a referral marketing solution for your business. Because what it does is that when that social share takes place, we just embed a link back to the gallery on social media with a low res image. And when the person clicks on that to view the images, we bring them back to the gallery. And when they come back to the gallery, they are all automatically presented with all your details. The second thing about referral marketing that's really important to consider is mobile sharing. So mobile sharing, what do I mean by that? Well, our gallery solution, it works on all mobile devices. And um, it also, what we do is when you send the, a 3XM gallery to your client, we send them a text message. So why did we develop that feature? The reason why we developed that feature is, is that most people read their texts. Not everybody reads their emails. So by texting to their gallery, they instantly get the gallery sent to their mobile phone and they can save a little icon on their phone. So at any time when they're out having a cup of coffee with a friend, they can easily access the images and all your details are there as the photographer. So it's all about mobile, 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 mobile. I cannot say this enough. And um, for those of you who keep, keep an eye on, on trends and, and technology trends, Facebook last quarter released their revenue figures and their revenue figures for advertising, 80% of their revenue came from mobile. So I ask you, if 80% of Facebook's revenue came from mobile, that indicates two things. It indicates firstly, that people are spending more and more and more time on social media on their mobile phone. And the second thing it suggests is that more and more companies are now shifting more and more of their budget to target customers on their mobile phone. So for that reason alone, it's all about mobile, not just in person, but also online. So we've already discussed about how the social share extends your sales reach for referral, but it also extends your sales reach for product sales. So we've been really, really careful and planned this, that we've made it really easy for the social share to happen from our gallery solution. And that therefore then extends the sales reach beyond your direct clients. Now, when I talk about that, and I talked about this when we first developed 3XM, a lot of photographers thought I was mad. And if you think I'm mad, you're half right. However, in this case, I wasn't mad because what I said was that the social share will put the gallery in front of the grandparents for that portrait shoot, or will put the gallery in front of the parents of the bride and groom for the wedding. And a lot of photographers said to me, but your granny and granddad aren't online. But the facts don't back that up. The facts are that the over 65s is the fastest growing demographics of people on Facebook. My mom, who's now 72, joined Facebook literally six weeks ago for the first time. So one in two people over 65 are now on Facebook, and that's growing all the time. And as we move through the next decade, you can be guaranteed that there'll be more and more and more of that older generation who will be on Facebook. And quite often, they may be the people who have more money to spend on the photography that you create. So grandma, in the case of grandchildren, the parents of the bride and groom typically want something printed. And I'll show you live examples of that in a moment. So here's an actual fact. I said already that we love facts at 3XM. So out of every 10 orders that we get through our gallery solution, nine out of 10 are not from your direct clients. And I'm gonna show you live examples of that, but I want you to think about that. So when you see the examples, I want you to ask yourself, 
how would I have got in front of those people to make that sale happen? So we talked about referral marketing and the gallery. So what you see now in front of you is an example of what our gallery landing page looks like. So when that text message or that link gets sent to the gallery from your client, your client, when they click on the text message or they click on the link, it lands them here. This is the first thing they see. So they see the name of the wedding. They see a big enter gallery button. They see your details as the photographer. And they see a link to your website, your Facebook, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, and your Google Plus, provided you have all these and you've entered these in our system. And that's true for anybody who lands here. So anybody who lands here after your client has done the social share, this is where they end up. So let's just enter one of these galleries and let's have a look around. So I've now gone to the gallery. So when your client enters the gallery, you've two choices of view. So this is the view where we call the cover photo is on. And the second view is cover photo off. So if the cover photo was off, this is the view the client would get. So you'll see, and there's, there's, there's a lot of ladies online tonight, you'll see, ladies, that this looks very like Pinterest, for those of you who know Pinterest. And that hasn't happened by chance. Ladies love Pinterest, and we've tried to make our gallery look like Pinterest. So when your client comes in here, you can see then you can apply your watermark to the gallery, and you can locate that watermark everywhere you want. And your client from here at any stage can see your details as the photographer not only on the, on the entry page, but here as well. And up here is where they can share the gallery. So with one flick of a button, they can share that gallery on their Facebook page. So that's how we put the gallery in front of your client's family and friends. Now your client, when they do that Facebook share, like any share on Facebook, they can choose to share it within just a group of friends. They can choose to make it a public share or they can choose to make the make the share just with it within a group of like a family group or they may in fact have a set up a wedding group on their facebook page for everyone who's going to the wedding so then they can obviously make a purchase from here and when they go to make a purchase let's say it's this product here they see the products that you've decided to offer for sale at the sales price that you choose to offer it for so they never see the lab price for any of these elements so you'll see here, if you keep an eye here on this blue, you'll see as I hover over that, it just gives me an idea of the crop. So I'm probably not going to go for that 10 by 8 because it doesn't really suit that crop. So I'll probably go for that one. And when they physically order the product then, this is something that's unique to us, is that we split the payment in two there and then. So a lot of gallery providers are out there. You don't get your money until maybe the end of a month. Some gallery providers, you have to wait until there's a certain amount of money built up before you get your money. We use a payment provider called Stripe, which allows us to split a payment in two there and then at the point of purchase. So you'll be delighted to know that you're never waiting for me to send you your money. Okay, so that's the gallery view there. So let's just go back to the presentation um, and we will We'll come back to the gallery a little later when I show you the proofing and how that works. So what's been bought from 3XM Gallery? So what I'm going to share with you now is just some small few examples of the sales that photographers are having and some information that we've managed to gather about why these sales are happening and what's driving these sales. So here's the first one I want to show you. And this sale here on the left, and what I don't want you to focus on right now is the selling price that the photographer is selling prints at. Um, every photographer has a different approach to their pricing strategy, and you'll see everything in here from £40 to £2.50 for prints. Um, but the important thing about any online sale, and you've probably seen at the very beginning of this presentation, I had a cupcake with a cherry on top. And the reason why I have that is that regardless of what your business is, only regard the online sale of product to be the cherry on top of the cake. Make sure you earn 98% of your revenue from selling your service and selling product in studio. Also, never replace in studio selling with online selling and expect to make the same amount of money. It will not happen.
and we've seen plenty of examples of that and we never designed our system to replace that sale process right so let's get back to this example so I've had to darken out most of the names just for privacy reasons but I've left some in just to just to give you some hint of what I'm talking about so you'll see here Izzy and Nick so that was the bride and groom in this case and you'll see here that Judy who the prints were shipped to spent £142.28 on this order and Trevor who I assume to be her husband paid for it so Judy must have used his credit card or Trevor went on and paid for it what's interesting though is Judy obviously liked the first order she got because she came back again and next time she spent £112.28 but this time Judy got them shipped to her but she also paid for it so she probably didn't want Trevor to know that she'd spent some more money on prints but here's the first example now of extending that sales reach beyond your direct client many moons ago if I go back 20 years ago quite what used to happen was the bride and groom would take the wedding album at home family would view that wedding album and make a list of the prints that they wanted to order but of course all the prints were never in the wedding album so with a gallery you can show a wider range of prints than that might be within the wedding album and that social share extends the sales reach and therefore that's this sale came exactly from that where the bride and groom shared the gallery on social media mum saw it came in and made this purchase so here's another example um, and you'll see here again Andrews and Metcalf are the bride and groom and Matson ordered I'm not sure whether that was um, that I'm not sure who this per oh sorry I do know who this person was sorry excuse me there's actually a hint here see this little picture here of the flower girl so it was actually the mother of the flower girl who bought these prints so I ask you again if you're a wedding photographer how would you get the opportunity to sell prints to the mother of the flower girl really difficult thing to do here's an example of an order and this order was actually placed by granny I know it's only a small order and that was granny's order and that was mum's order so if you look closely there you will see that the prints are similar prints they're definitely from the same gallery however the prints are slightly different so that was mum's order and the previous order was for granny i'm just going to pause just to see if there's any questions for me no questions yet excellent okay let's keep going so this was also an order for granny and um, so granny here in this case 85 pounds and she bought three prints there for a cake a smash the cake shoot i'm sure many of you do that out there as well okay this order this order was actually from the butter in this case and um, it's the largest single order we've seen for a portrait where it was just prints that was included i think there was one uh, yes it was all prints in fact that was on that order Okay, so what do we see? So a lot of photographers say to me, what product should I put on our price list? And we have a full range of canvases and, and uh, wall art available. However, 95% of all orders we see are either for prints on their own or prints and mounts. Now I always suggest, and of course I would, um, 3XM is owned by photo value and we make about 12 million mounts a year. However, we have proven with, with consumer research that a consumer who receives a print in a mount gives more perceives more value in that product than if the mount wasn't there so that's just in, so, something to bear in mind so the bride does buy too so it's not just about parents and when the bride does spend she tends to spend more so here's an order here and um, this is the largest order we saw from a bride through the system yet she spent 466 pounds and she brought a mixture of prints prints and mounts canvases and framed product so that's why it's important to have those frame products in there as well and this was another order and there's a nice little story behind this and um, this was for a photographer that um, was one of the first users of 3xm he's based in Scotland initially he, wa he wasn't quite sure about it um, and it, it answers another question that I'm asked to is how long should I leave the gallery live for but this particular gallery went up for an August wedding it went up sometime late September and the order came through this February so that's quite a time lag between when the gallery is live and when somebody went to went to buy something however after a wedding maybe the bride and groom don't have as much money 
But if the gallery is there a little later for them to make a purchase, well then, they when they have the money, they may go and make that purchase. But this was for a bride, a bride who placed this order as well. So I already talked at the beginning about laying the foundation for the sale and the importance of laying the foundation for the sale. And it's really important for you as the photographer that you do that, that you lay the foundation for sales. The photographer who lays the foundation for the sale gets more sales online afterwards. And I'm going to share some examples of that with you now. So the first thing, and this may seem really, really obvious. However, unless you create the content to sell it, well, then you can't sell it. And what I mean by that is that here's an example. Who do you think bought this? So when I do my, my public demos and I, I, I do my business seminars and stuff like that in person, the, it doesn't take very long for someone to say the florist correct. And it was the florist who bought this. However, if the prints, if the photographs the, of the flowers weren't taken, well, then the florist couldn't buy them. Here's another example of three orders um, for prints. And all of these three orders were from other people who were at the wedding. So in this case, the photographer, I don't know whether they did a second shooter or not, but the photographer took pictures of other families who were attending the wedding who weren't directly linked to the bridal party. And the same was the case here, and the same was the case here. Now, in these cases, the people who bought prints of themselves also bought some prints of the bridal party, um, and it, the same was the case here. However, it was the parents of this young chap here who bought, bought these products. So again, if this picture wasn't there, perhaps the person may not have started the whole purchasing process in the beginning and may not have bought these. Plant the seed for the sale, and I have a lovely story around this, um, and it's something I say all the time, that when you have your bride and groom in studio, it's important that you tell them how the gallery works. It's important that you tell them that this is the way that guests can buy other prints. Because it's the referral piece again, your bride and groom, unless you tell them that these things are possible, they may not automatically go and tell their guests that they can buy prints on the day, that the gallery will be live, that the bride will share or the groom will share that gallery on social media, or will if or will email it directly to them. Email a link directly to them. So here's an example of a photographer who planted a seed for the sale. So there's a lovely story behind this and how we know the story behind this is we got a phone call from the photographer and the photographer said to us, will this canvas be there on time? And we said, let us just check. For those of you who, who may not be aware, um, all the production from our gallery system is produced by One Vision Imaging, who are one of the top labs in the UK. Um, if you're in Ireland, we were linked in with hand imaging. And if you're in the US, we're linked in with WHCC in the States. So back to the story, the photographer rang us, and this was, was based in the UK. And he said, um, my groom is wondering, will he have the canvas on time? Because it's a birthday present for his wife. So we said, we sure it will be. Let us just go and check. And we rang one vision, and they said, yes, it'll be dispatched on time. We rang back the photographer. And like all of our people are, are trained to do at 3XM, we wanted to know the story behind it because it's by knowing the story that we develop what we do and the features and things going forward. So the photographer told us in this case that the um, when the bride and groom came to collect their album, that he had a word with the, with the groom to say to the groom that um, this is a lovely birthday present or a great first anniversary present to buy your wife something because I'm sure he was probably like most men, and I'm certainly like this. Oh no, I'm going home. I've forgotten it's my wife's birthday. I'm in trouble again. I go into the lo local Maxall or Texaco or um, petrol station. I fly in, try and buy some flowers and a bottle of wine and some, some um, chocolates and try and get away with it, and I never do. While in this case, isn't it a lovely first birthday present in the first year they're married? or again, a beautiful first anniversary present. So just some ideas there, but plant a seed for the sale. Tell your groom that these things are possible. Believe me, he'll thank you for it. Here's another order, um, and we don't know the exact story behind this. Um, however, there's a hint here in the comments, and if the, if the photographer didn't plant a seed for this sale, it's something we should certainly do. So here you see, is there any chance I will have these before the 23rd of December? 
because they're Christmas presents. So there, another thing to say to your bride and groom, you know, purchases from the gallery can be great Christmas presents for your parents or for other people if you're wanting for something to buy them for Christmas. Again, plant a seed for the sale. And it's just, it's not just about people. So this photographer does vintage rallies and I want to talk about Facebook here as well and, and the importance of being able to get these images in front of the people who are attending this rally and that you've taken the photographs for. And this will be for um, any events. So it can, it can work for, for um, art theatres, anything that you might do, gym cannas, anything, any shots you may take in a generous setting. There were 17 different orders across this gallery for this photographer. But how you can get the images in front of those clients is a lot of people who are members of special groups, whether they're dance groups or vintage rally groups, they have private Facebook pages, groups. I'm sure you photographer, you as photographers are members of certain groups on Facebook that are private groups just for the members of that group who are allowed in there. So all you need to do is, if you do an event like that, is to get permission to share a link to the gallery in that group. And that's a much better way to make sure that as many people who were at that event will see the images and therefore make a purchase. As I said, it's not just about people, it's also about dogs. Dogs, we see a lot of sales for dog, dog galleries. People love dogs in general. Um, and you know, it, it, it's, it's a great thing to do. So. So price, let's talk about price. This is one of my favorite topics. Um, and it's one of the things I'm asked most often, whether we develop a new presentation product, whether that's a printing USB product, or whether it's simply about what should I sell things for online. And my first answer to any photographer is, I don't know the answer. And that might sound like a cop out, but it's not. But what we, ha what, what we do do is we say that, just think about the cherry on top. So make sure that 98% of your expected revenue is coming from selling your service and selling your product in studio. And the, the online sale is just a cherry on top. Whether you're gonna sell product or not online, or whether you're going to attempt to do that, the referral marketing opportunity alone is worth it. Because your clients want to interact with their images online. They want to be able to share those images online. So even the referral marketing advantage of having an online gallery is worth it in itself. But in considering pricing strategy, a couple of small things, and you as a consumer, when you go to buy things, you may think this way as well. Now, this strategy that I'm going to outline here only works for weddings. Do not do this if you're a portrait studio. And I'll explain the reasons why in a moment, but let's just deal with this one at the moment. And this is down to trial and error as well. It won't work for everybody, but it will work in certain markets because every customer is different. It depends on where they live, what their demographic is, how much money they have to spend and everything else. And only you know what's best. And it's down to trial and error, try it to see. But one of the things we do see is that if I said to you, a photographer was gonna sell a six by four print online for one pound 50 or for five pounds or for 11 pounds, who would make the most money? And most of us would say the photographer sold at 11 pounds. However, in these three cases, the photographer whose prints were a little bit less sold way more. And that's because the consumer spent more because they felt they were getting greater value. Now, I'm not saying this is the answer for every photographer. All I'm doing is giving you some simple examples. So just to think about, only you will know the answer, but these things can be trialed because within a 3XM solution, you can have any number of of prices you want. So it's easy for you to trial these things. We also have some photographers who do weddings and they may have three price lists because they know that the people who get married in Hotel A spend three times the amount of money on their wedding than those who attend Hotel C. And Hotel B will spend maybe half the amount of the people. Who... So you may in that case choose to say, well, I know now roughly what their wedding budget is and maybe the people who spent most on their wedding will have less to spend online on stuff afterwards or may have more. But these are all things that you can test and it's easy to test and alter as you go to find that winning formula. This is something I'm asked about portrait um, and I'm asked about selling in studio and selling online 
are they mutually exclusive and they absolutely go together they absolutely sit together whether you whether your weddings or whether your portraits i'm a firm believer that you do both however never ever and i'm going to say it again i've said it a couple of times tonight is never replace in studio selling with online selling it's a mistake you'll see a lot of gallery providers will suggest that and online is the way to go and shooting burn is the way to go it's not selling in studio you will never earn more than the selling that you do face to face whether that's in studio or directly in front of the person in their home if you do shoots in, in people's homes or whatever way that is I'm just going to talk a little bit about in studio selling and those of you who may not yet have been on on one of our, our product webinars and um, we're running them actually because we launched ted this this week and we're running them every day this week and um, from wednesday tomorrow thursday friday and saturday and um, and i deal with this a little bit more but this is something i don't know if any of you have heard of sue bryce or has seen the the reveal wall and this is in studio selling and it's and it's absolutely best so for those of you who don't know this, um, Sue Bryce is one of the top photographers now in the US. Um, she's from New Zealand. Um, she charges for her top package $3,000 US dollars. And her biggest selling package is not actually wall art. It's her mounted prints in a mount box. And she talks about her now generation. So she talks about the modern generation not being just a digital generation, but they're the now generation. And I can see that with my kids. They want it now. They don't want to have to wait for it. But with her reveal wall, and you'll see just a, a snapshot of her reveal wall here is, she gets the client back and she displays up to 30 mounted prints. And then she brings, when they're all laid out, she then brings the client in to view the prints. And part of her sales process is that she, she gets the client to go over and choose the 20 prints that are included in their package. And she says every single time, the excitement on the client's hands as they interact with that printed print in the mount and the physical act of having to take it and put it into a mount box just works wonders for her. She also, and this is something that we come across quite a bit, is she always sells the digital files. Now, a lot of photographers think that I don't want to sell digital files. To me, as a salesperson, I think you should absolutely sell digital files. And you can do that either as an add-on or include it just in your top package. Or you may be a photographer who's, who's built their business around just selling their service and delivering the files as a digital file on a USB. And there's nothing wrong with that either. One of our biggest customers sells over 5,000 of our USBs doing makeovers and she merely sells digital files but she's all set up with a with a full tele sales operation and she puts through a hell of a lot of people every single day um, but it's all down to what's your business and what works best for you however what i would say to you is if you're one of those people who say no i am not selling digital files as part of my package just measure how many people when they ask you do you sell digital files hang up the phone or cut off the conversation there and then. For me, the digital files and the now, the now generation, they want those digital files. Just It's a comfort to them because they share their lives on social media. They share their lives online. And it's a comfort for them to have those files digitally. How that fits with 3XM is we're currently developing the 3XM platform and the gallery platform to build in things like um, a contract facility. So if there's any newborn photographers among you, let me explain how, how that would work in that scenario. So if you imagine a scenario where you want to offer a product like this, so mounted prints in a box, and your client comes in to view those, and it's for a newborn shoot, and maybe a six month shoot, and a smash the cake shoot. So the sales principle here is, is that you can bring the client in for the first shoot, display the prints, get them to pick seven out of their 10 prints, put it into their box, agree the contract there for the next two shoots, and allow you to spread the payment for the client across the next 10 months. So let me explain, give you an example. So let's just say that this top package, you're going to sell with 20 prints in it, mounted prints, over the newborn shoot, the six month shoot, and the yearly shoot, and that for that, you're going to charge 999 pounds. And let's say when your client comes in for the first shoot, they don't have that 999 upfront. 
what we're going to build is we're going to allow you to build a contract facility within the 3XM platform where you take, say, £400 for the first shoot and spread the remainder month by month across the next 10 months. But when the client comes in for that final shoot, they've already paid for that final shoot and for the next seven prints to put in. And for those of you who haven't seen our premium colors boxes yet, we've built in the premium colors box that it doesn't hold just 20 mounts, but it holds 25 mounted prints. And one of the ideas we have around that is, is that I always believe in give your clients something that they weren't expecting, excite and delight your client. And one of the thoughts we had was that they've chosen their 20 mounted prints and you say to them, do you know what? You can have another five prints. And all I ask for in return for those five prints is that for every print you choose now, that you give me a sales lead for a friend of yours that you know won't mind me contacting and mention to them that I had you in for a shoot and you really enjoyed it, the whole experience. And they recommended that I call you because they think you would benefit from the same thing. Now, isn't that a lovely way to get qualified leads from people because most of us have friends with people who are like us who are from similar backgrounds probably have similar um, incomes and things like that so if they give you a rec recommendation like that you can be sure that they probably have similar money to spend and have similar interests and it's a qualified sales lead it's another referral that you've been given so we're currently, as you know, um, those of you who know 3XM well, when we did our social media training piece, Jenny took over the, the Facebook advertising for a photographer. And in the first couple of weeks, they turned a £60 spend into £2,500 worth of revenue. Then over the next number of months, they turned £300 into £12,500 worth of revenue. And as a result, the photographer in question is a photographer called Nick Pierce. He's in Chippenham. And as a result of Nick continuing to apply those Facebook marketing principles, last October, November, he moved to a new studio. So you'll actually find him on Facebook if you search for Nick Pierce Photography in Chippenham. There are two Nick Pierce photographers, so just make sure you find the one in Chippenham. And you'll see on his Facebook page the fact that he moved, um, he moved location and all. And he puts that down to Facebook. He's now generating nine out of ten of his leads on Facebook. So why do I mention that? Well, we... Currently, we've just come up with this whole solution as to how our technology can fit with the reveal wall and everything else and fit with our premium colors product. And we're now looking to test it in the market to prove that it works. So if that's something that you think might suit you, if you drop me an email so you can respond to the email for the, the email you get from the webinar and you get a webinar at the very end of the webinar too. So just respond to that. Um, and just say you're of interest and I make contact with you and we'll discuss the possibility and how that might move forward. So hopefully that may be of interest to some of you. So back to pricing strategy. The really important thing with pricing is keep it simple for your customer. I would suggest that you have no more than four packages and no less than three. And the reason why you have no less than three packages is that price framing. It's really important to price frame. And the importance of having a fourth one is quite often the fourth one will sell more of your third one. So let me give you an example. So you let's take a wedding photographer and you may do a digital image service. And I'm just going to pick numbers out of the top of my head. £1,300. Um, you do an entry level um, premium color. You do a premium colors box with 20 mounted prints as an upsell for that for £1,700. And you do your first wedding album at £2,000. And you do a top of the range luxury, luxury album with wall art thrown in and all that sort of stuff for, say, three and a half thousand pounds. By having that three and a half thousand pound package and the numbers are irrelevant. It's just a principle here. It quite often sells more of your top package, which you would never sell without having that fourth one. I hope that makes sense. So that may be just something to think about. And then on pricing strategy, if you're a portrait studio, never have a price for prints online that are less than what you sell in studio. So I'm gonna say that again. Never have your price for product online in a portrait scenario at less than what you sell in studio. Because the, the, the reason why I say that is, 
as if you do portraits, it's within an environment. You're probably operating within a 30 mile radius of where you're based. And what you don't want to happen is your clients realize that it's cheaper not to buy in studio and buy afterwards. So we do have some portrait photographers who actually charge more for the prints online than they do in studio. And they tell their clients that and they use that as a sales strategy. If you're a wedding photographer, it's completely different because nine out of 10 orders, as I've said, are from people who are not your direct client. And therefore, it's definitely the cherry on top. It's extra business that you wouldn't normally generate. I've discussed this already, loads of different pricing strategies, loads of different things to consider. What I suggest to every photographer is lock yourself away for 30 minutes in a room, a quiet room. Look at your price list from the objective of your client. Analyze it and say, what would I think if I saw that? And then consider then what your online selling strategy is going to be to fit in with that. So saving time with your wedding album design workflow. I've already explained that that's one thing that we do with 3XM Gallery. And I'll do a short demo of that in a couple of moments. Before that, I just want to show you pricing. So we have three models. We have a totally free model. And we do have clients who just use our galleries for free. You can have any number of galleries, up to 100 images, free. However, there are certain things that are not included in those. So you can't watermark your images. You can't look at your client favorites, which I'm going to demo in a moment. And you can't text a link to your client. And you can't turn off social sharing. In our pro galleries, and all of our pro galleries automatically include all of our features. And our pro galleries are linked. They're called Pro 100. So that's a, a gallery with up to 100 images in that particular gallery. If you've more than 100 images in a gallery, so it might be a wedding or an event, you may need our Pro 250, which is up to 250 images in that particular gallery. And then our Pro 1000 is for any gallery. So if you have a large wedding, you have more than 250 images and need up to 1000 images. And it's a pay as you go model, like a pay as you go phone. So a lot of providers out here, what they do is they sell you space. And what they do is they bring you in on the principle of starting, it's really, really cheap and it's really simple to do. But as you add galleries and you add images, you start to use more and more space and they lock you into a process there of paying possibly for galleries that aren't ever performing. So we looked at it a different way. We said, look, sales from a gallery are typically going to happen in the first 13 months of that gallery being live. Because the last probably opportunity where something might sell is at the first anniversary. So we said, let's approach this from the point of view of that you as a photographer know exactly what that gallery is going to cost you. And you know it's going to be live for that 12 month period after the wedding, up until you, unless you as the photographer decide to take it down earlier than that. So we charge you a once off fee. So if you're in the UK, if you use a Pro 1000, we charge you a once off fee of £2.50 for that gallery to be live for a whole year from when you put it up there. If you're in Euroland, that's three euro. And if you're in the US, it's four dollars. And then that goes up to five pounds and goes up to 10 pounds. So that's the pricing. So you're only paying for it as you, as you use it. It's a pay as you go model. However, a lot of our customers start using this solution and it works really, really well for them. And they go beyond having you know, 20, 30 weddings on the system and they may have 30 or 40 portrait shoots as well. In that case, we have a pay as you go unlimited subscription. Just any number of galleries live, you pay £29 a month, you get as many as you want. Um, or you can pay £290 as a, as a once-off fee and a, once yearly, and you have as many galleries within that year for the £290. We did have a special offer in January, February and March, where we reduced that in half, if you did, were interested in that. But I don't suggest you start there. Start on the either the free or the pay-as-you-go, and then once you get the volume up and it's working for you, then consider the subscriptions. I'm just going to talk about our premium colors range just for a couple of seconds. If you haven't seen this, it's a beautiful product. It's designed then to link in with the reveal wall and all that. It takes 20 mounted prints and it comes in six colors. If you are interested in that product, um, please join me for one of my webinars during the week and I'll go into some more detail on it. Just to give you a short, so you've probably seen all of our advertising around TED. So the principle of TED is, TED is our new builder for presentation products. So a lot of photographers said to us, you know what I want? I want to have presentation products that reflect my brand. I want presentation products that I can brand to my client or myself or just myself. 
I want products where I can, I want to combine my colors in there. I want my products to reflect me. So what we've done is we've built TED and now with 3XM, there's 60,137 possible combinations using any of our USBs, with any of our lids, with any of our boxes, with any of our inserts, with any of our presentation bags. So that's what TED is all about. It went live yesterday. Um, so if, you, if that's of interest, you go and have a look. And if you want to see how photographers are using our presentation products and live examples like I have, except in the studio setting, and um, please join me for one of my webinars on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Here's the promise that I gave you that 20% off any products you buy, that should say till the end of April. Apologies, I haven't updated it. Um, little typo there, I should have done that. But the code, here's the important bit, 3XM, sell more. Use that voucher code, it'll give you 20% off any purchases that you spend with us up to the end of April. So in summary, Make sure your gallery solution has a built-in social sharing feature. When marketing and selling your service online, Facebook is absolutely king. It works a dream. Um, Instagram is good for branding, but it's really hard to sell with Instagram. But Facebook is absolutely king. Selling in studio and selling online are not mutually exclusive. The successful photographer lays the foundation for the sale. Make sure you plant the seed for the sale. Have all your sales script worked out, what you're going to say to your client. It's not just about people. It works for events and everything else. Give careful consideration to your pricing strategy. I can't emphasize that enough. And final tips, consider joining us on Explore. Explore is our blog, it's on 3XM Solution. And now I'm gonna go and do a gallery. So for those who wanna stick around to see a gallery being done, and I'm gonna show you, first of all, I'm gonna show you how the proofing piece works from the photographer's perspective and the client perspective to save time and ready and design. And can also be used, some photographers, they, um, get the gallery live so any of any any of you who've seen kelly brown and um, kelly brown one of the top newborn photographers in the world and um, she was recently in london i don't know if any of you had the pleasure to attend any of her training or if you were part of the mpa cherubs you may have been at her event and, and you saw us there at the time as well but one of the things one of her sales process is when our clients book her they have to book her minimum package up front and the clients are made aware of that so in that scenario, she's now not reliant on a hard sell or semi-hard sell in studio because they've already committed to buy the um, her minimum price package. And what she does is, as part of her proofing for them to pick the images that they want in their in their presentation box or their wall art, she uses the online gallery as the selection tool of the image that the client wants. Yeah, so that's just another possibility there. But just be careful. Don't do that in a scenario where you haven't got your sale already done. Because if you do, then you're going to fall into that trap of trying to sell as much online as you would face to face, which is not possible. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you the control panel. So when you come into your control panel, we log in actually in a few moments. But this is where you as a photographer control absolutely everything. So here is your home, your shoots, your clients, your accounts, your price. Before we do that, I want to just show you when you click on prices for the first time, and this is what you will be greeted with. So this is where you connect with Stripe. So Stripe is our payment provider. And what Stripe allows us to do is Stripe allows us to split a payment in two at the point of purchase. So let's just take an example. So let's say there's a product that the lab is charging £20 for, and you're going to sell it for £100. Well, what Stripe does is, when the client pays the £100, it splits the payment in two. It sends the £20 to 3XM, and we pay the lab. And it sends the £80 into your Stripe account, and every five or six working days, Stripe will send that money directly into your bank account. So this is where you connect with Stripe. So you click on that blue button, and it opens up in Stripe, so you're now on the Stripe website. If you already have a Stripe account, you just sign into it here, and it'll automatically con connect. If you haven't ever set up a Stripe account, you need to set up these details. So you pick the country, you tell them a bit about your business, you're going to need your... So you pick the country, you tell them a bit about your business, you're going to need to tell them what your VAT, no VAT number is, and all your bank account details, because that's how Stripe transfer the payments into your bank account when the sales take place. So I'm now logging into the gallery here. So we'll just log in now to 
3xm. Okay, so we're now logged into 3xm, and this is where you control everything as the photographer. So the first thing you do is you go in here and you set up all your account details. So this is where you put in your social media links. This is where you upload the artwork that you want to use as a watermark. You fill in your biography, your qualifications, and you upload your logo. And once you've done all that once, it will automatically then be applied to every single gallery. So the next step then is to create your price list. So I already showed you a little earlier that you first connect with Stripe and after you've done that, you can create a price list. So to create a price list, you simply click on new price list. You can create a quick price list or create a manual one from the start. I'm just going to click to choose to create a quick one. So now I'm ready to create my price list. The first thing is you give it a name and you can have any number of prices that you want, but make sure you call it a name that resonates with you. Wedding price list, expensive, because I'm going to have two different price lists. One for my expensive weddings, which I know by what hotel they, they get married in. And I'm going to have a cheaper one then for the other hotel that I do weddings in. Okay, so here is your terms and conditions. So the contract is also between you and the person who buys the product. So wherever business terms and conditions you have, just copy and paste them in there, and it'll automatically be applied to the price list. The next step then is to choose the products you want to offer. So there was some selected here because I chose to create the quick price list. If you came in the manual price list, there'll be absolutely nothing selected and you start from scratch. So if there's a blue tick on it, it means that it's been chosen. And you can alter any of these prices to whatever you want. So if you watch here carefully, when I ch change that to 10, you see the profit element changing here. So this is the lab cost for that product. This is the selling price that the consumer sees, including VAT. And this is your profit, including VAT, that goes straight into your bank account when the sale takes place via Stripe. So we charge 0% commission on sale. However, Stripe do charge a transaction fee of 1.4% of the total sales price, plus a 20 pence, or if you're in the States or in Euroland, a 24 cent transaction fee. So in the case of this 10 pound sale, Stripe will charge you 1.4% of that, which is 14, cent, 14 pence plus 20 pence. So 34 pence is what Stripe would take out of that £8.20. Once you've set up your prices, and you can do, so in here we've got frame prints, we have roll display, we have prints on their own, and we have gifts. For any particular category, so for the prints that are selected, you might say, do you know what, I just want to round them up to, so have a look at that, it's £2 at the moment. So just go to a particular category, so I'm going to choose prints. I'm going to say, please round all my prints up by 350% as a standard, and round them up to the nearest 50 pence. Adjust prices. You'll see the prices, all the prices have changed. So you can change prices on an individual basis, or you can do a group pricing change there using that tool. So once you've made all your changes and you've chosen all the things, you just save the price list, and that price list then is available to you for whatever shoot you want to assign that to. So we're going to go back to the control panel now, and let's do an actual shoot. So to process a shoot, you simply click on process new shoot. Here is where you choose either for an existing client or for a new client. If it's an existing client, so for example, in a, a bump to baby shoot, you may just, you'll have their details there already because they, maybe they were in for a newborn shoot and now you're doing the six month or the smash the cake shoot. If it's a new client, you start from scratch. I'm just going to pick an existing client because it'll save me with my poor typing of typing in all the details. So once you've done that, this is then where you choose your plan. So if you're on our subscription plan, it would automatically skip this piece. But because I'm on a pay-as-you-go model, I choose which one I want. And so but you click buy credit, it'll pop up, you pay for that credit, and that's that gallery paid for. But I've put one on my account so that I don't have to enter some more details in there. And this is where you give the shoot a name. So we're going to pretend this is a wedding so I'm going to say Ronan and Susan, and the name is important because what the name does is that's the name of the shoot that appears, yeah? Ronan and Susan, we'll just call it that. Wedding, this is where you assign the price list. So we created some prices a little bit earlier, and we made it um, wedding prices expensive. 
So we want to apply that one to it. We put in the location. So I'm going to say it was in Dublin. And then we just put in the date of the wedding. And the reason for the date of the wedding is it just allows you to keep a track of the wedding and it's just under search field you, you can use. So the next step then is to choose the security you're going to put in the gallery. So we already saw a little bit earlier that 9 out of 10 in sales in our wedding galleries come from people who are not your direct client. So what we've done is our default is that the gallery is open because the only way the client anybody can get to the gallery is by the client sharing that link with somebody. So if you will, however, maybe have clients who absolutely don't want anyone else ever to see the gallery. So you can, if you want, you can lock it to say that the only one that can ever, ever see this gallery is the gallery owner, which is your client. Or you can choose that anybody can see it, provided they have the password and you can assign whatever password you want to it. So I'm going to leave that open to all because I want those referral sales to happen. So the next step then is you just register that as a photo shoot. So this is just a confirmation of the details. And yes, I'm happy that all of those details are correct. So I now move to the next step, which is to upload the photos. And the upload is a simple uploader. So you just choose add files. Um, I have some files here on my desktop. Uh, where do we have them? Okay, let's just choose them. Choose the photos then that you want to upload. You can do a select all if you know it's all. I just want to just upload a few here. I'm going to make sure I upload 10 because I just want to show you something. So let's choose those. They're the ones I'm uploading. Hit upload and the system will go ahead and upload those. Now, depending on your broadband connection, this might take some time. You don't have to stay with it as it uploads. It will continue to upload. So at any stage, once you leave that page open, just don't close the page. You can go to another page, work away on your Mac, do whatever you want, um, and it'll work away in the background. If for any reason that there is a broadband disconnection, when you come back up here, this button here will show upload. So all you do is you just click upload again and it'll resume the upload and it'll know to start the upload from where it cut out. So you don't have to worry about putting images up twice or three times or four times. It'll just work away there in the background and it'll get to you. So along the top here, you can see that it walks you through a step process. So we're currently on that step four, which is upload photos to the gallery. Okay, so if any stage that the uploader doesn't work, you can try the alternative Java uploader. I'm on a Mac, so it defaults to this. If I'm on a PC, it'll actually default to the Java uploader. But if you have any conflict on your on your computer or any issues, you can just change to the different uploader. OK, so this now shows me the images that have been uploaded to the gallery so far. The cover photo is the first photo that's shown on the home page. And it's the photo that appears as the first image when they come into the gallery. So to change that, you just simply drag and drop it. So you saw me dragging and dropping it across there. This is where you control everything. So if you need more photos to upload, you can just click here to do that. This, I'm going to have my watermark on. I want the watermark on. And all the other details, I'm quite happy with. I'm happy with the order. If I was happy, unhappy with the order, I wanted just to change the order of some of those. You simply just drag and drop and you can turn it that way. So just on numbering, just make sure that you number your files correctly with 0001, 0002. Because if you don't go with that numbering sequence, it'll put 1 and 11 together. So go 1, 11, 100. So, um, so you need to make sure that you've got that 0, 0, 0, 1. And you can do that quite easily by renaming your files with that number. Okay, so let's get going now. So let's just go and create the slideshow. So the slideshow is as we, as, so the slideshow is designed as a sprat or a mackerel to catch the salmon. So the call to action, the slideshow when it's viewed is always to bring somebody either to your website or your contact details as the photographer or to go to the gallery so that sales process can begin. So to get started, you've three options. So full screen. So if you're using landscape images, full screen means that the image will cover the full screen all the time. 
However, if you're using portrait photographs in there with full screen, it will crop that image. So to, if that's the case and you're going to use portrait images, you can choose either crop, no crop black background. And what that will do is it'll never crop the image where it'll put black each side of it. And no crop white background will put white each side of it. So to get started then, you just choose from a range of royalty-free music. And I actually like that one, so I'm going to stick with that. And the next stage then is you select the images that you want from your gallery in your slideshow. So the important thing to consider here is that you must have a minimum of 10, and we've maxed it out at 30 because it's not designed to replace something that you would do in Animoto. It's merely designed as a teaser to bring people in to view the gallery. So have I chosen 10 there now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I have. So that's good to go now. So this button changes to save and create slideshow. It changes to red, to dark red, when you know that you've selected the 10. And you can just simply do that, and now it's ready to go. So I'm going to preview that. So let's just see what that looks like. So there's the slideshow. I have the music turned off. And then the call to action is to bring you to the photographer's details, to share it, or to go and visit the gallery. Okay, so let's just turn that off for a second. Okay, so the final step then is let your client know that their gallery and their slideshow is ready. So you simply go here, and um, it'll automatically text your client so let's just put the mobile number in here, the international number. Um, and that'll tell them it's ready. You can change the email address here. It automatically brings in the email from the system, but you could change that there if you wanted. It automatically brings in the name of the shoot. It brings in your logo, whatever logo you have in the system. And you can change this text box to say whatever you want. So you might want to say, uh, I had a great day at your wedding. At your wedding. I hope you enjoy the photos. I'm happy with that, and you can alter that to say whatever you want. Kind regards, Paul. You might want to say to them, you know, go ahead and choose the images that to put in the album design or whatever. And then once you click notify your client, will be sent an email and a text message with a link to their gallery. So that sound you just heard there was the link arriving to my mobile phone number, which if I click on, will bring me directly to the gallery. So let the setting begin there and then by getting the text message so your client will access it on a mobile phone. Okay, so at any stage from the control panel, you can see any shoot. So if we go in here and we just choose a shoot and let's just choose this one, so here you can change the settings at any time. So if you need to come in here, you need to turn social media off, or you want to take off the watermark, or you want to lock the gallery down to just one person. And here you'll see the views of the gallery. So this is one of our demo galleries. So it's had loads of views. If your client says, I didn't get that, you can hit, simply click on notify your client. And again, then that will allow you to send that notification again to the client. And then you can you can search by client in my account we discussed a little bit earlier your price list your client orders then are is the total of any orders that have been placed from the gallery so here you can see that there's an order this is the total spent this is the profit this is what was paid out and here's the receipt the VAT receipt for that product from the lab i hope that's helped you if at any stage you have any problems please feel free to contact us on our live chat or just email us at info at 3xmsolution.com. Thank you very much.